and good morning everyone how is everyone doing i hope that you all are doing okay as you come into the room please hit the like button also if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel also share the video but definitely hit the like button also if you would like to donate uh, to the channel to support the channel you can do it via cash app or you can hit the thanks button, the little heart at the bottom of this video and donate to the channel. That's a way of supporting the channel. So that, this morning, I want us to talk about, because I'm getting ready to get out in the field, but I, I had to, I, I gotten a call from one of my friends um, that's been working on, I think I told you all that somebody had hacked into my Gmail account. Now that Gmail account, I never use. But, you know, I guess I could have let it go. But I, I think I said before, you know, I, I, not to violate me. And they violated me. And they got a whole war going and they don't even know it. Okay? And I'm talking about with the authorities. Because my account was not the first account that they hacked into. And it's, it's some old vlog. It's other, it's other vloggers. But they motherfucking asses got other people working in the background, like them white boys and some of these, you know, um, excuse my French because I'm not prejudiced. Because uh, one of my friends, you know, that just so happened to be working on this, he's white too, so I, I love him. Um, and, and some foreigners, okay? You know, I wanted to talk about... Because it all goes into, I always talk about that crabs in a uh, barrel mentality. Y'all know I always say that, that crabs in a bucket mentality, that crabs in a barrel mentality. And I think that's one of the reasons that you got people that have jumped on YouTube. Number one, they was put here by, they been they, they was paid, okay? They was paid, their page was created and they was paid to be put here to change the narrative really on this young dog's case. OK, and I don't care how sweet it sounds or how they want to make you feel like, OK, that they are for young Dolph. They're not. Now, here's the thing. It would have been fine. You know, because people can tell their lies, how they love fake evidence. And mislead the people. But they actually was put here to try and witness tamper. But trust me, the feds been on top of their head. I can't understand how you're going to have a criminal history. And then get on here and start doing illegal stuff and have the folks looking at you. Okay. Because I ain't going to stop. I got a lawyer. I don't have no plan on stopping. I told y'all if you go back and look at and the jealous motherfuckers when they hacked into my stuff, they deleted that video. But I think I've said it in other videos. If you violate me because I don't bother nobody, I don't stop. I want some justice. Okay. But anyways, I digress. I'm going to show these bitches just how slow I am, okay? Because uh, we know how to do it. I fear for my life. My children fear for theirs. My mother fear for theirs. And my dad putting some stuff. Okay? He's getting some stuff documented today. My dad is an upstanding citizen, was an elected official for Memphis for many, many years. And the sad thing about it was over 20. These Negroes ain't even in Memphis. The Mississippi Police Department has a stake out on my street to watch my home. I even got an email from one of the people that hacked me a fake email saying that, and we got that documented. That yeah, we hacked you and yeah, we was going to do something to you. We got all of that. So when they finally taken down, we got the proof that they had planned on doing something. And the Memphis police department has to consistently ride back and forth in my mom's area to protect her home.
it's sad that these folks get on here and do this for dimes and nickels that they ain't gonna even be out to spend anyways. Okay. Okay. But this is what black people do when it comes to money. You know them by the fruit that they 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 bear. As I always say, as it relates to this doll situation. Even as it relates to this, you know, to CMG and all of that, I don't say things that I could say about them because I, I, it's not for me to say. That it, whoever it is that's getting ready to be indicted, that's between. I don't know if they're even as far as the those indictments that I hear that's coming down. I don't even know if they are involved. You know, I, I, I don't know. Who is? Okay. That's not for me to say. That's between the district attorney and whatever evidence they've gotten from the authorities. Okay. Okay. Now. I wrote, you'll know them by the fruit that they bear because an apple tree, okay, an apple tree can't bear, can't grow oranges. And I think people get caught up in the sweetness because a lot of people, I was listening to Auntie Fee one day and she was so true. She said they bait you in and then change the narrative. A lot of people, that's that orange growing on an apple tree. It's sweet and it go over people's heads that, wait a minute, like I say, that orange is sweet and it's good, but it ain't supposed to be growing on this, on this limb with this apple. That that's, that's absolutely impossible. It ain't right. And that's what's going on as it relates to this young dog's case. People was put here, they was paid and put here to actually try and destroy and tear down his legacy, which is pre- OK, that's what they was put here for. They bought out. They was bought out. OK. Um, they was bought and paid for from the very beginning. And they was put here to tear down Young Dolph. In another way. Know how people they always say you have to make them think you're helping them. Young Doc was tragically murdered, and they fear the rise of his label. As far as the young man Fabo go, I don't really have a whole lot to say about Fabo other than I'm gonna pray for him, and don't let people use you because Fabo and don't get too far into this because he you know because somebody was looking we were sitting in my office looking at this the other night looking at him and one of my investigators very calm mal-mannered guy worked for the dea for 31 years said that's gonna be a problem and see i think what they want to do is they like to try and egg, a lot of people like the egg on stuff <clears throat> he said that's gonna be a problem if a lid ain't put on it and the, he said the sad thing is they constantly want to see these young men out here killing each other all for some crumbs but then when you got a job to do you couldn't give a damn you have to do your job when you bought and paid for i think it's sad you know on so many levels they get mad at me and try and violate me. Now they're going to be looking at all kinds of charges because they bought and paid for number one. It has a lot to do with ego too. I ain't never had, you know, people try to talk about me, but every damn phrase I use, the next thing I know they're using it, they ain't got sense enough to try and paraphrase. Nigga, change it up a little bit. Do some paraphrasing, but a lot of you don't even know what paraphrasing is. They spitting out what I say verbatim, but 
you got a problem with me. Hell, if I didn't get on here and make these phrases, these one-liners, you, you wouldn't even know what to say, a lot of you. You're knowing by the fruit that they bear. Okay, and so I don't take too kind to being violated and people trying to bully me. Because one thing for sure, if you don't like what I got to say, you stay your ass up off of my page. See, it's one thing when you've been paid to do something. You do that shit on your shit. But it's another thing when you think that you can bully somebody else. Now, nigga, you taking money. And you got this team of people, y'all motherfuckers hacking. And I'm going to tell you something about these others. They ain't going to have no lawyers to you. All of them tweaking on drugs. Yeah, y'all been looked at by, by the authorities. I know who one of them is, and it makes me mad as hell. But I got to hold my peace. Okay? Because they've done this to more than me. A lot of people don't even know that they was hacked. They don't even know it. And they work with some of these other vloggers. That's really bought and paid for too. And when they finish whatever music deal, whatever, because some of them slick call themselves into this music industry, it they ain't gonna, they not going to get what they think they're going to get in the way. They're getting these little crumbs that ain't gonna, not going to even pay for a lawyer. The same thing that some of these people did that took Young Dolph out and look at where they at. There is no way in the world that you would ever see me get on here and defend Cornelius or defend Straight Drop because you know what? They got the evidence that they did that. Why, if I'm for Young Dolph, that I would get on here and defend his killers? Okay. Not unless I have a vested interest. I personally know one of them. So you have to understand. <clears throat> okay. When some of these people sit up, even sometimes when they say that they're going against a opposition, you have to judge them by the fruit that they bear. Because even though sometimes people may say things and it may seem like that they're saying things bad about people. That's a, a lot of times that's a play. That's just a way of advertisement still because a lot of these celebrities feel like bad advertisement, any advertisement is good. That's that's keeping their people out there and it's got folks going and, and to their pages and stuff. That's just another form of tricking the people and keeping it out there. Some of these folks was, was put here to witness tamper. And that is to scare witnesses. Okay. And to come and forward to try to find them, number one, in hopes of somebody saying, I know who was a witness. They found out who it was. Okay. Since they hooking up with people that's get ready to lose some of their businesses that's got personal information. Because see, when people can, you can get addresses off of the internet. But when you start talking about, I got a social security number, by law, people can't put social security numbers. These these um, information, these little vlogs they go to to get these people information, they can't give out social security numbers. So that's somebody that's got these, that's working with a credit bureau, that's got these insurance companies, that's got access to information, that's getting ready to lose some of their businesses. Oh, it's a whole criminal organization. They open themselves up for some mess. And I suggest some of these Negroes that's got some kind of business where you got access to some information, nigga, you better shut, you, you better, you better keep your damn mouth closed. As far as giving out these folks information. Because you get ready to lose it all. These $2 niggas, and they ain't even $2, they 15 cent Negroes.
okay? They get on here and they start scrapping for pennies. Because when it's all said and done, it ain't going to change nothing as it relates to this young dog's case. I wouldn't even be mad if a nigga got on here, mind their own business, because it's some that's on here. Okay? They mind their own business. They say they're not for it. was a young man that got on my live one night. I can't think of his name. And he said he wasn't for, you know, young dog. I, you know, I don't know why he told me that. But he wasn't disrespectful. I ain't heard him try to target me. See, it's some people <clears throat> that the people have their own opinions. But they keep their opinions. They speak whatever they're going to speak. And they leave other people out of you have to watch people that target other people those are people that are paid and those are people that will do anything to include plot murder you got vloggers on here that have been plotting murder because they think that they gonna be the only ones that motherfucker you was already a criminal a crackhead criminal and then you motherfuckers got on here and started hacking you and your your boys Okay, and some of these ignorant ass women with they crackhead asses will do anything for these motherfucking men and bitch you going down because you've been identified too. It makes me mad as hell. They already got on here and they disrespecting young dog. And it's a shame that they could be paid to try and change the narrative. And hey, they could do that. That wouldn't even make me mad. But when you start coming after me, when you start going after other vloggers, you have stepped over the line. You got media companies that's owned by these foreigners. And they are paid to do a job. Some of them put some of these cuckabug heads, like some of these vloggers that you see. Some of these media companies own them. You never hear me say a word. But y'all, it's deep. It's deep. But when you start trying to violate me and other people and my family, you just met, you messed up. So I tell you what you do. A lot of these people couldn't get on here and talk about what they wanted to talk about if they wanted to, because they are given a script. They're given a script. They told what to say because they bought and paid for. It. Hell, they don't even know what to say. That's why you see them using my sentences verbatim, my words. Okay. And then get on here and want to try to fool the people and then violating people at the same time. So y'all, you know them by the fruit that they bear. Okay. And I'm not saying that everybody that believes that 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 you know pre might have had something to do with young dogs murder which they didn't i think some people are confused I, I think that they're confused because you have so many different medias and their flunkies that have been put on here that have changed the narrative that it would confuse people that don't know but see i i know i know that they didn't and i've been told who did by the people that would know okay so y'all judge them by the fruit that they bear judge them by the fruits that they bear 
you ain't gonna have to worry about some of these people very long because evil can never win. Some of these people so evil, it don't make no sense. They mad about, you know, whatever situation that they've been in. They've been crack addicts and troublemakers and they mad about, they confused about their sexuality, all that type of stuff. You never know what's going on in a person's mind. And so <clears throat> it never fails. When I have people that are slick stalkers, it becomes an obsession with me. And that's dangerous ground because I just, I know the law too well. It's almost slick obsession. Okay. And then they're able to send people out. You go do this. You go do that. These people that's got expertise. You let these motherfuckers use you like that. These women. That was a lady and they looking into her too. And I think she was one. She's one of their hackers. Tried to act like she needed some service from me. See, they try to get your your email address to try to get your IP address. Motherfucker, you through. Helping you through. Y'all, it is a it's a shame what they do. It's a shame what they do for these people. And in the end, it ain't going to be worth it. I know some of these people, I know just as well, when they started looking into it, some of these people that claim that they, you know, I, I love your vlog and they are connected to the people that has something to do with Young Dog. You never hear me say a word. They be right in my chat. You never hear me say nothing. I just go right along with it, okay? I love you too. I wish you luck. You know about the fruit that they bear, but I know. You know about the fruit that they bear. And everybody that says they are for Young Dolph isn't there mocking him. They trying to finish destroying his legacy and it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. It's a shame what we do for money. But I wanted to get, I got to get out of here, but I wanted to get on here and say that. I just, I think it's a shame, you know, and there are some vloggers on here. Like I said, I've seen, they're not necessarily for doll, but I don't see them unless they got fake pages. They're going to end up being behind some of these fake pages that these folks, and they've been discovering who a lot of these people are. They get on here. I know who's straight. Because when you violate me, <coughs> things have to be looked at. And I know who's not. It's one that gets on here. I know that they directly connected to one of these guys that's, that's, that did this to Doll. Okay. That has been charged. I don't say nothing. I don't say not one word. And you know how I know? Because that person has been identified by the authorities. It ain't, they ain't did nothing to me though. Getting, getting in my chat, don't, don't, it's nothing wrong with that. But I under but I understand where it's coming from and who else is connected to it. As far as another vlogger that they deal with. I I know. I just hope in the end they don't end up being one of the hackers that's that's dealing with that vlogger. That vlogger out of one of my the one of the federal agents said that MF is out of his mind. Got the nerve to sit his ass, got a record longer than Georgia, and got the nerve to sit his ass on here and brag about people's information. <clears throat> Wonder if those hackers though, because see, one thing about other people, especially when they come from other races, they gonna preserve themselves. They ain't got no loyalty to these Negroes. 
they throw them right up under the bus. But maybe they be tweaking too much and cr so cracked out. They, I guess they wouldn't know the difference anyway. Jail is better. Jail actually helps some of these people. It helps them to detox. So jail is actually good for some of these people because they get the detox. Because when they out here, they be tweaking and sprung, strung all out. They be thinking that they Superman, like they can do anything. Especially when they think they got some uh, some more crackhead motherfuckers behind them that know how to hack and things of that nature. These people that's got legitimate businesses, y'all better preserve y'all businesses. Because it's it done got real in these YouTube streets. And it ain't even got to, it ain't even have to be like that. That's what I said. A lot of these vloggers going to be going down right with some of these other people that was indicted. It's one thing when you paid to do a damn job. It's another thing when you start violating and messing with other people over a federal internet. Just so you can try to change the narrative, but trying to change the narrative don't change the truth. And so what the authorities say is what they do is they a lot of them have been paid. Number one, they was paid to try to get on here and witness tamper to try to find witnesses so witnesses can be intimidated or scared. They put them there for the, that. When the feds zone in on that, they started trying to change the narrative. And that's in hopes of little things that they say, you know, when you want to make people think that the police is working with um, uh, whoever the killers are, which they already got two of them. Okay. That scares off potential witnesses or the witnesses that they have. It kind of scares them. And that's what they want to do. Right. And number three, potential, potential jewelry tampering. That is, if some a potential juror is watching this, you can. I guess they think, and they ain't got no damn credibility. If they could taint the mind of potential jurors, y'all, these are the games that people play. Okay. Hell, I went out there. Why would I take a stance on saying a hundred per being a hundred percent sure? that they was either those are the killers or not i just said based on what i was told i believe it was them and i've always said you know maybe there's a one percent chance that it's not but why would i say there's a hundred percent chance that that's them i wasn't out there there's always room for error so if i had taken a hundred percent stance is something wrong with that Either way, that they were or they wasn't. Okay? You know them by the fruit that they bear. And everybody that says that they are for Dolph isn't. <clears throat> it's a shame how people get on here and think that they can bully other vloggers. I got my lawyer. Because once this investigation is over, I'm putting in some lawsuits okay the ones that you see the puppets ain't got a damn thing they just giving them a little bit more than they ever had before but they ain't got shit and this ain't even about and i know people say you know because somebody somebody early had got on my blog i'm unsubscribed because you know they were saying something about fabo go i don't have nothing to say about fabo not nothing other than because Fabo young enough to be my damn son. Other than I'm gonna pray for him and I hope he changes mindset and take that energy and put it into his music because Fabo Go is hurting. He's hurting. There may be some jealousy there. He's young, but I hope he can get around the right people. But he ain't got he ain't, he ain't around the right people. I can tell. And they can help him to redirect that energy because the route that he's going is not going to pay off. We were sitting there watching one of Fabo Go's interviews the other night in my studio. Me and some of my investigators. It ain't. It ain't going. It's not going in the right direction. 
but I do want to see the little brother do well. But I think Fabo know just as well as anybody else that Key Glock didn't have anything to do with that. Fabo, don't let them use you. Redirect that energy. See, if I can help a young brother, I will because I know, and I, and I think if anybody else would know, Fabo would too because he's from that area. He know they didn't have anything to do with that. Not unless he's a part of Trula Mafia. I don't know. Because I, I don't really necessarily know who paying for paying. Because I know when you start seeing people doing interviews with some of these people, they have to pay for that. So I don't know if he got a machine behind him secretly. But I would hope not. Because it's not going to work out when you do it wrong. And we know Key Glock them didn't have anything to do with that. Okay? So... Just because the little brother's from Memphis. See, people don't like that. They don't like it when you try to redirect people in the right direction. They don't like it because they know I can get on here and say, I know damn well Key Glock them didn't have nothing to do with it. And you motherfuckers know that too. They know I know. They know I know. And it makes them mad because they've been paid to change the narrative. And they will use anybody. Okay, but evil never wins. So y'all keep y'all eyes open. You know them by the fruit that they bear. And everybody that says that they are for Dolph are not for Dolph. They've been pissing on his legacy for, since day one. They baited you in to make you think that they was. And they've been doing criminal shit since they've been on here violating people to include plotting murder. So you ain't going to see them long anyways. Okay, we got the email that came from them. I fear for my life and my kids do too. And my mama and my dad are going to put something on record today. And so the Fed is able to communicate, you know, with the, with ABI, you know, with GBI, that's Georgia. And and TBI that's in Texas. Thank God they all able to work together. And CBI that's in Carolina. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I want you guys to um have a, a good day. Ask, believe, and receive. You know them and apply this to anything in life. You'll know them by the fruit that they bear. I don't care how sweet an orange is and how good it may taste. It ain't going to grow from an apple tree. It's impossible. That means that it's not, it's not something that's not lining up. Okay. And one rotten apple would try and destroy the whole tree. And that's a lot of rotten people on here. And they've been rotten. They ain't never they ain't got no conscience because they've been rotten. That's why they was chosen. But a change gonna come either way, y'all. Okay. I want you all to have a good day. I got to get ready to get out of here because I got a case to go on. But um, you will know them by the fruit that they bear. Okay. And then here's another one of my scriptures. I love, I was meditating on it this morning. <laughs> Be not deceived for God is not mocked. <laughs> Whatever a man soweth, he shall always reap. He shall also reap. It's reaping season for a lot of these $2 Negroes. It's reaping season because they violated people. And they're keeping dissension going. But that is what they've done in their whole life anyways. 
Okay. If you want to be like me, you need to get some integrity. It ain't enough to just steal my phrases. You're going to have to actually get some integrity. Okay. I got integrity. And I can't be bought out. I ain't, I, I ain't you know, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't no nigga that's for sale. Okay. I ain't never been for sale. So I know a nigglet, like your masters would say, like me, is dangerous. But nig but I got an army behind me. I hope some of these motherfuckers legal down there in Texas. Them crackheads in Georgia, y'all they coming soon. It don't pay to be bought out. Okay. I want y'all to have a good day. Okay.